What's going on there, YouTube? New project time. So if you've been following along on Instagram, you've seen I picked up this RC four-wheel drive Trail Finder 2 long wheelbase. Uh, I got it used on eBay, and I got a really good deal on it. Um, so it had no drivetrain. It did come with the motor, an Axial 27 turn, but no electronics, no servo. For the most part, it's it's all there. Um, it does have the Tamiya F250 body, uh, which does not fit this chassis. I mean, it does bolt on. RC four-wheel drive makes a or used to make a kit to bolt it to the TF2. The Tamiya long bed F250 body fits a standard Trail Finder 2 perfectly. Um, I'm guessing by the way this is set up that whoever started this build was looking at making a tow truck, tow rig out of it. It does have the RC four wheel drive 155 dually wheels, um, the non bead lock, and it has six brand new Mickey Thompson, what are those? Mickey Thompson Baja MTZs. Super scale, super soft tire. Uh, everything's brand new. And I got it for 400 plus shipping. So, pretty good deal. I mean, the, the TF2 chassis kit alone, I think, is still well over $400. I guess like 450. Anyway, uh, got a good deal. Um, it does have some things that need finished, and we're gonna tackle that in this video. But um, I'm not sure yet what body I want to use. I really wanted to do a um, short bed Chevy out of the K5 Blazer body, but the dually wheels. Uh, I'm I'm thinking I'm, I need a tow truck to tow a trailer I want to build. I've kind of had a, a hankering for some way to haul my rat rods around. So I need to build a giant steel gooseneck trailer that could haul two, maybe three of them. Probably just two because they're pretty long. But I, I don't know because this, to me, a body is a little bit shorter. This is a little bit smaller scale. Um, if, you, if you've ever had any of the high lifts, you know that it bolts on in place of the, the Toyota Hilux body. They're exactly the same wheelbase, mounting points, things like that. So, um, yeah, it's it's supposed to be a full size truck, and the same exact size as our Hilux little mini trucks. So uh, another option would be to get a K5 Blazer and just have a cab and do a flatbed, or I could do this body and build a flatbed as well. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that, but we gotta get the chassis up and running and, and completed first. Um, it did come with the front shocks. They're not mounted. They are a little bit long and I have a remedy for that. Um, what else? I've got to put the rear drive shaft back in. I did rob it for another project. <laughs> I was just sitting around so I got to put the rear drive shaft and the carrier bearing back in it. And we'll go ahead and mount the motor up. I've got a servo somewhere. What do I do with it? Just an old RC four-wheel drive uh, twister high torque servo. I think it's actually in the truck. I just set it in there. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I did want to give you all a sneak peek here. I've revived the gasser build. Um, the front suspension's temporary. I need some different size links, and I'm, I'm still not happy with the mounts. The front shocks aren't going to work like they are. They're hitting the, uh, the frame rails. But uh, I've got an idea of the stance and the look that I want and I also got my awesome designs uh, kidney bean style gasser front wheels weathered I just painted them real heavy chrome paint and went over them with the AK rust streaks and uh, those wheels had the holes for the lug nuts and I used some uh, scale hardware I had for a while from locked up RC I think they're 1.5 mil uh, just scale bolts so they look like lug nuts kind of narrow it's pretty pretty cool looking but uh that thing is is I think it's back on board now. Now that I've I've finished my big giant top secret project, so we can get back to building the gasser. I do have an RC four wheel drive V8 R4 transmission Inglés intake. 
and I do have some of the TCI, no not TCI, RHS heads coming for it as well as some custom headers and so hoping this is this is just my model mock-up engine that I've got in there but I'm, I'm hoping to use the full RC full drive scale drive train on it but uh, anyway back to the long wheel base alright guys so I went in and put the drive shaft in and I mounted my shocks on the bottom I was thinking I needed to use the taller shock hoop but I really think it's gonna work just fine where they are. This this truck has been lowered, and um, I'll show you how they did that. The, everything is flip. The axles are all on top of the leaf springs as opposed to the bottom. You can see here how they did it. Works great. Um, I'm not familiar with these little brackets here that drop the shock mount down off of the leaf spring, but they are really nice aluminum. <clears throat> Looks like an RC four wheel drive part, but uh, not sure where they're from. Um, we've got three leaf springs on all four corners um, one thing I would like to change would be the the uh, transfer case mount but I'm not sure how that works on here because you can't really raise it up because you have this carrier bearing here that extends the rear shaft out so that might be a, a problem for tucking that up further but really if this is going to be a tow rig I'm not that worried about it again these tires are super nice super scale Mickey Thompson's very soft and they fit these dually wheels perfectly um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bolt the shocks up I did have some Jalan 2 shock hoops that I was gonna use that raises your mounts up a little bit I'm just gonna rock with it like it is we can always change them out later um, the Jalan 2 hoops you can buy from RC4 drive separately they're like 16 or 18 bucks um, it's one of the best mods I think you can do on your box stock Trail Finder 2. You barely get any movement out of the front suspension. If you're actually going to use it for crawling, you get these and you can even run the stock shocks and it just gives you more range of motion. Way better for crawling. So um, I'm going to use some spacers and mount this up. Then we'll start looking at putting the servo and motor in. Alright guys, so I got the motor in, servo in. Um, yeah, just gotta figure out the body situation. I'm trying to, just, I gotta do some research and see what else I will need to complete the F three fifty body or F two fifty if I were to keep it. This being a tow rig, that would be kind of cool with a flatbed. Obviously, the uh, regular bed will not work. Sorry, I gotta move all these scale bolts out of the way. I was trying to swap things over to scale hardware as I went along. Got the steering nice and tucked up by the way. I used a little, uh, probably five, three mil spacers to raise the servo up a little bit. And I just used a plastic servo horn that I'd previously modified for a Trailfinder 2, a similar situation. Um, <clears throat> you can see it runs parallel. The links and everything are nice. The job's nice. And it's still moves forward just a little bit to clear that um, it does limit a little bit during full lock but again this isn't going to be a real serious crawler this is going to be a tow truck hopefully um, looks pretty good it's not it's got what two bounces on the front three oh, it's got a lot of weight up there all right so you can see the stance of it, it sets up pretty high still even with the uh, axles flipped on the leaf springs we've got plenty of room for steering sets more like a F450 the tires kind of stick out in the front a little bit is a little bit of a wider stance uh, I just hate those yellow headlights it bugs me but anyway I don't know I'm not a big Ford guy but I like the Super Duties and if this were to be a tow rig, I could make it work. Now it would be like a 10 foot bed because the stock long bed does not fit this being the long wheelbase, about an inch off. Uh, dually fenders would be cool, but I think it, with the, the size of gooseneck trailer that I've, I'm envisioning to haul the rat rods, it would have to be a flat bed to pull it. 
couldn't pull it with a, a regular looking pickup with dually fenders. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, Chevy cab with a flatbed dually or just make a regular old Chevy short bed and uh, 4x4 rusty and old. Or Let me know what y'all think. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But it was too good a deal to pass up and I've been wanting to do a long wheel base. It's the only trail finder I haven't had yet. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, it's RC Every Day. I'll see you all in the next video.